Before we get started triggering samples and editing instruments, we need to make sure that our audio and MIDI configurations are set up properly. In order to set these preferences, we will click on the Options button in the toolbar. First I am going to set my audio driver, which is Core Audio. Then set my audio device as my PreSonus FP10. We can see that our status is set as running, which means Contact recognizes our audio setup. We can then set our sample rate anywhere from 44.1 kHz to 96 kHz. For now, let's set our sample rate to 44.1 kHz, otherwise known as CD quality. Beneath the sample rate is the latency tab where we can set the buffer size. I recommend setting the buffer low during recording, especially if you are working with large files, and then setting it high during playback though I find 512 samples is a fair buffer size for both. As you can see, when you set the buffer high, the overall latency increases, but if you were to set it low, your engine would have a hard time recording and you'd get dropouts and pops while you're recording. Find your happy medium. On to MIDI setup. If you have a MIDI controller connected to your computer, Contact will automatically recognize it. As you can see, I am currently using an Oxygen 49, and I will set its status to port A. If you have multiple MIDI controllers, then set their statuses accordingly. We'll click Close, and now we are ready to begin communicating with the software. 